Hello everyone, welcome to Fashion Calgary Show. My name is Anya Basak and I'm here today on a great Thursday morning. Uh, it's pretty short uh, week for us because of the long weekend in Alberta when we celebrated the family day. Uh, and it always feels weird because that week is gone so fast. But um, today, uh, we talk a little bit about the white shirt last time. Thanks for all your emails and messages. Uh, seems like um, it was very helpful topic for you guys, uh, which makes me even more happy that uh, I can provide you with the content that uh, you find it useful. Uh, so uh, today I really wanted to touch on the topic that uh, is um, related to the white shirt, uh, to that uh, professional uh, or casual look. But today we'll go a little bit into a more professional field because because today I would love to talk to you about how to dress up properly for the interview. Especially in Calgary when the situa economic situation became a little bit um, uh, tougher uh, for the last quite a while uh, and a lot of people uh, are looking for a job, you might find it even more uh, resourceful and hopefully uh, there, there will be something that uh, you can uh, you can use for yourself. So before you say uh, a single word to the interviewer, you've already made uh, the impression based on uh, how you're dressed. And of course, every company has a different uh, dress code. Uh, how you dress uh, at the job uh, might have very little to do with how you dress for an interview. Um, I always say, and it's a little bit unfortunate because if you place two people with the same knowledge uh, in front of the person who is a decision-making person, in front of the CEO, your future employer, uh, unfortunately, uh, nine out of 10 cases, uh, the job will get the person who actually look better. So um, skills and knowledge first, however, your look and the first impression is so important. That's why today I wanna give you a little bit of uh, hints and tips on what to concentrate on when you're getting ready for an interview, both for female and for male, uh, including your uh, wardrobe, your hair, and your accessories. So guys, uh, first something for you, uh, dress in a manner that is professionally appropriate to the position for which you're applying to. So that's generally speaking, wearing a suit. Uh, so no jeans, no casual shirt, it's suit. And it's very appropriate to dress down for an interview, regardless of the company dress code policy. When you're in doubt, uh, always go conservative. So if you're not sure what is the dress code in the company that you're applying for, go always conservative. Conservative. It's always a safe uh, path for you to choose. You should wear a suit to the interview. And suit means a matching a jacket, pants, a dress shirt, tie, uh, coordinating socks, and dress shoes. A dark color suit uh, with a light colored shirt is your best option. Uh, your suit should be comfortable and fit you well so that uh, you look uh, and act your best. So nothing too tight. Uh, if you haven't been wearing a suit for the last 10 years, I would rather recommend try that suit not on the day of the interview, but uh, at least a week before. So in case it doesn't fit you anymore, and it's likely it won't after 10 years, you still have time to get a new suit and um, avoid loud colors and flashy ties that's something that I've seen many times so uh, that's something you should really pay attention to clothing should be neat clean and pressed so if you don't have an iron either buy one or make sure that you put in your schedule uh, quite often visit to your dry uh, cleaner of course shower or bath in the morning of the interview wear deodorant and don't wear cologne or aftershave you don't want to smell overpowering or worse cause an allergic reaction which also happens a lot that's always made me feel sick when uh, i've been passing someone who is like overdosing the using or the usage of their cologne although i love the perfumes but especially for the first impression that's something you want to avoid uh, wearing like too strong scent make sure you have a fresh breath. Uh, that's another very more, very important thing. Uh, brush your teeth before you leave for the interview and don't eat before the interview. You don't want to leave anything in your mouth or in your teeth, uh, especially when you're going for um, 
your first interview and don't smoke. I know it's a habit and you might be a regular uh, heavy smoker, but don't smoke right before an interview. Your hair should also be clean and conservative. That means while it may be appropriate to dress more um, uh, casually for a second interview, you still must dress professionally. It's much better to be uh, too dressed rather than uh, too casual. And a good rule is always dress like your boss. Um, so that's something that you might keep in mind. Shoes, uh, that's something that I really want to touch on quickly. Shoes should always be well polished, in a good condition and not uh, run down at the heels, which I've seen many times. So pay attention to your shoes, uh, get them ready for an interview and they also should match your belt. So choose the same color uh, of your shoes uh, as your belt. Be sure to um, have uh, uh, your um, shaving routine in the morning of the interview. So even if you don't ordinarily uh, shave every day, if you have a full beard or a mustache, it should be trimmed and very neat looking. So dressing professionally, uh, guys, uh, speaking generally and summarizing what I've just recently said, um, shows respect not only to your boss, but mostly to yourself and uh, the company that you're applying for. You might not have to dress like this every day, but you're more likely to be taken seriously when you present yourself in a professional manner and take the time to attend um, and to pay attention to the details. So I hope you guys uh, took some uh, general speaking rules when it comes to getting ready for an interview but women we have a little bit more job and more tasks to do when it comes to getting ready for an interview and generally speaking again you should wear a suit with uh, a, sk a skirt or pants uh, when it uh, doubt always go in a more conservative way so the same like with the guys when you're not sure what's the dress code go conservative that always is a safe choice your suit should be comfortable and fit you well again the same like with the bands. If your waistband is uh, cutting you in half or your jacket is too tight, you won't look or feel or act your best. So um, some stores offer free alterations uh, when you go and purchase your suit or you might want to find a tailor to adjust uh, a suit uh, you already own. So make sure that uh, you have a good um, uh, well-fitting suit at least a week before you are going actually for an interview. And interview suits should be simple and dark in color. So nothing bright, nothing light. You should avoid uh, tight, bright, short or sheer wardrobe, especially the sheer wardrobe. You don't wear, and when it comes to your skirt, that's another thing that we should pay attention to the length, uh, they shouldn't be too short. And knee length skirt is always suggested. And uh, although uh, you may seen recently very uh, in trends are very long skirts, it's not something that is recommended for the interview. Uh, wear a conservative blouse with your suit. That means do not wear uh, bright colors, animal prints or anything like really lacy, sheer or low cut. Uh, this is not a runway show. This is a professional interview. Um, when it comes to the makeup and nail polish, that's a big topic that I think we should spend another hour talking just about that part. Uh, based on my experience with what I've seen, ladies, it's not the makeup show, it's not about looking like a Barbie. Makeup and nail polish, that's something additional to your look. So it should be understated and flattering. Uh, shades that are neutral to your skin, tone are generally um, uh, advisable and avoid bright or unusual colors or very uh, long nails that's another thing and when it comes to the jewelry and their higher accessories uh, keep them to your minimum and stick to uh, those are not too flashy uh, distracting or shiny uh, one ring per hand should be your maximum. Again, when it comes to the shoes, uh, I always pay the most attention to the shoes. Shoes should be conservative and rather a low heel, so nothing open toe. Again, doesn't matter if it's a winter, summer, no open toe shoes. Uh, they should be in a good condition, not scuffed or run down at the heels. Um, uh, and uh, make sure that um, probably um, 
when it comes to open toes, the same with uh, your open heels. Try to uh, avoid that as well. Uh, basic pumps are always your best choice. Uh, they are very versatile and uh, they will st stay in style forever. So it's better maybe to invest a little bit more money into one good pair of uh, pumps instead of like changing them uh, constantly. Uh, again, uh, the whole series, your tights, they should be neutral as well and they should match your skin. So make sure that uh, the heels uh, are not dyed black from your shoes. That's another thing that you should remember. And that there is uh, no uh, snacks or runs on your tights. Um, you might, it's safe if you carry one extra pair of the uh, tights in your purse just in case something happens. So. Again, dress in a manner that is professionally appropriate to the position that you're applying for. In almost all cases, that means wearing a suit. Uh, it's very uh, appropriate to wear uh, to dress down for an interview, and regardless of the company dress code policy. Uh, and um, uh, the same like with the men's, that that rule doesn't change. So your clothing should be neat clean and pressed so again if you don't have an iron get one or use the service of your dry cleaner um, again shower or bath in the morning before you're going for an interview uh, don't wear perfume you don't want to smell overpowering again it's not about uh, showcasing your feminine side it's about being professional um, the same with your fresh breath brush your teeth don't smoke and don't eat before you're going right for an interview uh, one more thing when it comes to your hair uh, you don't want to showcase the latest trends in the hair industry very professional clean looking hair which which means usually uh, you can do a very uh, elegant uh, but classy updo or have your hair in a ponytail but don't use any like bright flashy um, uh, elastics it's not really about that the idea is to look polished and professional not to advertise what creative uh, genius your hairdresser is again while um, I might be appropriate uh, to dress more casually for um, uh, I or you, you might uh, dress more casually for a second interview, it's better to stay more professionally for the first time. And um, uh, so sum summarizing what I've said, it's better to actually uh, be to dress up rather than to be too casual. And dressing professionally shows, uh, as, I, as I said before, shows respect to not only yourself but to your maybe future boss and uh, the company that you're applying for and uh, again um, what I wanted to share with you today those are just very basic rules when it comes to uh, dress code for an interview so uh, again summarizing guys suit uh, matching jackets pants shirt uh, shoes belt a uh, women suit with either a skirt or pants a good pair of heels uh, pay attention to the uh, makeup hair, breath, uh, no sense uh, and uh, but um, before it actually goes you guys are going for an interview there is one rule that I also um, uh, want to mention here and uh, it's uh, not really loudly said but when you're applying for an interview uh, many times they ask you to send them your photo and that's something that i really wanted to add to this um make sure that you have updated photo of yourself and it's professionally taken i've seen tons of portraits of people that are not really professionally looking uh, they are 10 years old uh, so if you want to also already make a good impression make sure that you uh including to your resume to your um uh letter your cv uh appropriate appropriate uh picture of yourself and i think that will be a topic that uh, i will uh, maybe touch a little bit on my next uh, segment uh how to get ready for a professional photo shoot especially when you're applying for an interview i talk i know we talked a little bit about that last time uh, but guys if you have some concern or doubts and when it comes to either uh photography um uh, your dressing uh, to the interview if you have um, if you're not sure what you should do or um, just you feel lost 
we are here to help you. So uh, I am always looking for your emails and your messages. Uh, feel free to find us all, all over social media. Uh, we are on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, as well as uh, you can send us direct message and direct email to info at fashioncalgary.ca. I will be more than happy to uh, reply to all your messages. If there is a little bit delay, uh, please forgive me. I'm trying my best. And uh, stay tuned because my next segment, actually, it's not going to be about a portrait and a professional interview, but it's going to be about your lifestyle and how to stay active and um, fit um, and healthy uh, in your everyday life because I will join uh, one of the celebrity uh, trainers and uh, the host of the last 10 pound boot camp that you might see on the Slice TV, Tommy Europe. He's coming to Calgary and I'm going to his boot camp. So wish me luck because I'm going to attend one hour of boot camp and I will ask him some questions uh, regarding um, staying healthy. So if you have any questions re regarding that part, feel free to send them to me before this Saturday and I will be happy to ask Tommy on your behalf so stay tuned because a lot of interesting uh, things are coming up.